Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be from pretty much now till the end of May 2021, as I am releasing these a little bit early, for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your first card and see what your overarching energy is for the month in terms of money and career Taurus. So what do we have for Taurus? Money and career only, thank you. May 2021. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. I'm going to clarify that. What goes with this Page of Swords, please? Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got the Magician. <laughs> okay, very nice. So message for Taurus, thank you. Message for Taurus, thank you. So I've got compassion, Taurus. And angels, what do we have for Taurus, please? We've got, oh, <laughs> I've got take a divinely guided chance. That's the card that's come out for you. So we have all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities take a divinely guided chance for some of you now you know intuitively and i'm definitely seeing that compassion as intuitive energy as well um this is about trusting your intuition you know because remember these readings resonate for some and not others so the message is really listen to your intuition and decide what's right for you but it feels very beautiful with that magician energy because the magician is about you know making it happen making it real Okay, so I'm going to pull five cards and then we'll clarify. I'm going to pull five cards, Taurus. We'll clarify where we need to. Okay. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Seven of Pentacles in the challenge position. What's going for you? I've got another page. We've got the page of ones here. So we've got the lovers, any obstacles to overcome? Queen of Swords is advice from spirit. And we have the Hermit, which is Virgo, in your outcome. I like the energy, love the energy here. So, Taurus, there's something that you have your eye on. Uh, some light bulb moment or some new idea that you want to give a go um it feels in this situation this is where the take the divinely guided chance is the magician is all about manifesting it so you have all the resources the talent the experience the know-how earth air fire and water you know he controls the four elements of the of the world um you have everything within your control to make something happen here. And it feels very, very beautiful indeed. Very beautiful. You have the magic. So for some of you, it feels that there is some inspiration, some idea that you want to make happen, that you want to manifest. And the magician is all about being in your power, you know, taking action, it's inspired action. 
Now, the magician is an easy energy. It's not a wave of a wand and it all happens. There's definitely an energy with the magician of 99% perspiration, 1%, you know, divine blessings. You know, the, the universe works with you in tandem with this magical energy, but it is a lot of hard work and dedication with the magician energy to make something happen here. But I, I feel for some of you, there is some kind of new idea um, or or some new, it can be new information or a piece of information that you want to take action towards. News, information or an idea that you want to make happen now. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is... It can be a card of frustration in the sense that you are beginning to assess what's of value for you and what's not in your life. Where do you see the long-term growth happening for you in terms of money, career, finances? And it feels you're going through the assessment of that and that's in your challenge position here. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy of taking stock, evaluating something because certainly in, in the challenge position, there are things that you probably don't see um, having a long term view on. For example, and it won't be for everybody, some of you, if you're in a current place of work, you don't feel you're valued enough or paid for what your work, you might be taking some kind of view as to seeing you're setting your sights elsewhere. You know, it can be that kind of energy in the challenge position. So I'm definitely getting that energy for you. You know, the page of wands is, it, it is a card of good news, can be to do with an opportunity here. So this could be what's going for you. This could be an opportunity because this is a message. So it, it could well be there's a message and it's something that you want to take action towards, something that you want to manifest. Um, you know, there's growth here and it's, the pages are generally something new, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Um, because this is the potential, you know, I definitely see there's something that you don't see yourself moving forward with, but there's something that's being presented here that you do want to manifest, that you do want to take action towards, possibly a new opportunity here, Taurus, um, that you do, that you do see potential with. So lovely energy. Any obstacles to overcome? Well, it might well be this decision might not affect just you. It might affect your relationship. Um, so that can be a decision based, you know, between the two of you. It can be to do with a relationship, the lovers, a choice or decision that not just affects you, but affects other, the other, another person. Um, so it might well be that there's some communication here. I also feel in this situation, you know, the, the lovers is about you connecting to your higher self as well, you know, to find clarity in which way you need to go. So it can be that kind of energy too, but it, it is a choice card. It is a card of, of choice, decisions, and it feels for some of you, there's some kind of evaluation taking stock that you're doing because it might not just affect you, it affects another person as well. Interestingly enough, the lovers also, um, it's not just about a relationship. It can be to do with partnerships. Um, so again, in terms of business, um, a powerful business partnership or union or two people who are very, very connected. Um, it can be that kind of energy as well here, Taurus. So maybe some communication or decision going on there. The advice from Spirit, the Queen of Swords, she's the crystal clear logic, the crystal clear thinking, you know, the reasoned argument. She is somebody who only, who intuitively makes decisions, choices, and follows the path of her choosing on what is going to bring her gain. Um, there's a calculated nature with the Queen of Swords, 
calculated decisions, choices, clarity, reason, logic that you'll be employing. You might also be dealing with a Libra for some of you. Um, a Libra could be a powerful connection coming into your life this month as well. Um, so, you know, very clever intellectual energy with the Queen of Swords. There's also an energy here of, of I'm definitely getting on, on rating, making, you know, that the Queen of Swords, she'll, she'll take counsel, but ultimately she's an accountable energy. I'm making this decision because I'm clear in where I'm going now. I'm above these clouds of confusion and this is the way I'm going. I'm definitely feeling in this energy. For some of you, it can be about making some kind of decision, um, having clarity in the direction that you're going to follow, having taken all the arguments or advice into account. There's definitely this energy of maybe making some reasoned, logical decision here. And I like the uh, the hermit is 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 a wonderful alignment energy, you know. So the hermit is finding illumination from within in order to make the sound judgment call. Um, this is about inner wisdom, inner knowledge, inner enlightenment here. So there's definitely an energy here of some of you are making some kind of it feels between these energies here there's there's some kind of how you align there's there's definitely some kind of opportunity or idea or something that you see that has potential this month to grow and it's something new and shiny and exciting that you absolutely want to take action towards because you've already seen there's certain parts of your life in terms of money, career, business that you don't see going any further. So this is the kind of re-evaluation, taking stock energy. Um, and I definitely see, I mean, there's definitely these energies of maybe making some kind of judgment call here on how you move forward to this. It feels for some of you there could be a partnership involved or something that affects a partnership. But definitely energy here of, with the magician, it's something that you want to go for, manifest, make happen. Yeah, and this is just, I'm finding the answer, the logic, the wisdom from within on how to take action now in my external environment. So yeah, very nice energy. Let's clarify this hermit. It feels you're giving something due consideration but it feels like there's an opportunity or an idea that you really want to make happen now. Yeah, I, you know, alignment, alignment, energy. Um, the Nine of Cups, your wish coming true. It's where your heart is. It's your heart's desire. I love this energy because, you know, this is, uh, this is about making some kind of judgment call on getting clarity with these cards a lot of clarity and it feels like a lot of due consideration here but there's definitely an energy of it's to do with something that is too good to pass up um, this is a card of reasons to be thankful um, celebratory energy it's a wish coming true getting your heart's desire and it, feel, it feels in this energy, that's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting a wish coming true. So there's definitely an energy here, Taurus, of take a divinely guided chance. Something's going to happen this month. News, information, a message. Um, and it's, it's opening a new door for you. There's potential there. And it's causing you to reevaluate what's not working in your life. So I love this energy for that reason. Feels very, very beautiful indeed. I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Taurus, thank you. Final message for Taurus. Yeah, we have Flamingo Heart. Unity, 
we have Flamingo Unity Heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. You know, that Queen of Swords is also very much about cord cutting as well. So for some of you, you might be liberating from things that you no longer, that no longer serve you. She, she, she cuts away the things that she doesn't need and focuses on where the future is, you know? So I'm definitely seeing that as your energy. Yeah. The horse, free spirit, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. You know, uh, free spirit energy, page of wands. So I, I definitely see there is definitely some kind of new path unfolding for you. It could be linked with some news, an opportunity that you need to make some kind of judgment call on. It feels that like you'll take your time to make the right decision for you. But there is some either an idea that you want to make happen or, like I said, some news new opportunity that's coming your way and it's allowing you to cut away that which you don't need anymore take stock but you know this is beautiful there's real fulfillment and happiness going forward lovely energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading taurus if you do please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you